more meek Kate. Kate Middleton officially upping her game to end Meghan's era. After a week of engagements, a royal commentator has claimed that Kate Middleton's golden appearance at the James Bond premiere was evidence of her competing with her sister-in-law Meghan Markle. A royal commentator has claimed that Kate Middleton's week of public appearances, capped off with a golden display at the James Bond premiere, was evidence of Kate upping her game as she allegedly competes with Meghan Markle. The Duchess of Cambridge began the week playing tennis with US Open winner Emma Rajakanyu, before donning a golden dress at the No Time to Die premiere in London, accompanied by her husband Prince William, and Prince Charles and Camilla. At the same time, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have been busy with engagements in the U.S. The Sussexes visited New York to attend the Global Citizen Live event in support of fairer vaccine distribution, in the couple's first public appearance together since the birth of their daughter Lilibet. Now, speaking on the Mail's Palace Confidential podcast, royal historian Tessa Dunlop claimed that Kate's appearances mark the reported competition she has been in with Meghan since the latter's relocation to the US with Prince Harry. Tessa suggested, she's really shown her versatility. And I don't think it's a coincidence that this has all happened at the same time as there's been a whistle-stop tour going on on the other side of the pond. Also on the podcast's panel, royal expert Richard Eden disagreed, noting that over the years, Kate has consistently enjoyed dressing for the occasion. I don't think she needs to up her game at all, he suggested. However, Tessa responded, I think that's naive to suggest that they're operating in entirely separate spheres, one surely informs the other. The royal historian pointed out a tender moment captured on camera which saw Kate and her father-in-law the Duke of Wales embracing, adding, I think the whole thing, if not deliberately choreographed, certainly had the subconscious touch of a woman who is staking her claim. She's backing the institution, that's what she's committed her life to, and it's also a play to support her husband. He's been somewhat under the cosh, because let's face it, they got on really well back in the day, Harry and William, they were a team, and I think she's trying to compensate for what's missing. This comes as another royal commentator claimed that Kate's Bond premiere appearance would have been hard for Meghan because of the alleged competition between the pair. Meanwhile, in March, Meghan Markle has been vocal about the lack of support and help she received in her role as the Duchess of Sussex, but according to royal correspondent Neil Sean, she was offered support by Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. Speaking on his YouTube channel, the NBC royal correspondent said, You can imagine with having three small children herself, there was a connection there, it should have worked on paper, but for some reason, it didn't. I can tell you that one of the final straws for Catherine's patience was during the infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey. Meghan cited the picture where both Duchess attended the splendid event Wimbledon. As we know, Wimbledon is very close to Catherine's heart, in fact she has recently taken over there from the Duke of Kent. Now you can imagine, when that story came up in the interview, Catherine would naturally be upset. Simply by the words, not everything is what it seems. In her interview with talk show host Oprah Winfrey, the Duchess of Sussex claimed not everything is what it looks like as she hinted at a rift between herself and Kate Middleton at Wimbledon. Oprah went on to ask was she helping you, embracing you into the family, helping you adjust? And while Meghan states that she felt like, everybody welcomed her, she went on to say that nothing from the past four years is what it looks like. The rift between the two sisters-in-law was heightened when Kate was singled out in Meghan and Harry's bombshell interview as having made Meghan cry in the run-up to her weddings having made Meghan 